Hello, Lilas. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. You guys, please make sure that you are subscribed by smashing the red subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And also, guys, if you want to join the Chatterbox for live, uh, exclusive live streams with myself and maybe even um, StreamYard where you can join in as well, um, please make sure you click the link in the description bar. It is $1.99 a month to join. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join that group. Um, it is about um, the dolls and just life in general, basically. So what I realized with Little Miss Tukaluk here is that <laughs> is that she is very close to my skin tone, but in a newbornish way. So, um, kind of happens that way a lot. Um, so basically, she is actually wearing regular size preemie um, right now, and it's it's as you can see, it's it's too big for her, obviously. But her feet are, let's see. Her feet takes up about that much of it. So not so bad there. Um, it's lengthwise more so. The bagginess I don't, is okay. But it's okay if you just wanna put her in something warm and you know, it's what you have. Her hands are right here. So I guess if I flipped it down. So anyway, um, I have a name for her, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over, gonna talk about her name a little bit, and then I'm gonna talk about uh, Second Market and how I, I really feel about Second Market today, currently, because you know my perspective changed with the flow of the industry and the community. Um, but yeah, I guess you could, you could pull it down so that. You know, you, you could see her hands and stuff. But um, she's going to take off this, so I'm not going to do all that right now. But I decided to name her Penelope. Um, I just really like that name. I've always liked that name. And so I said, oh, okay, we're going to go with Penelope. So, and she's a full body silicone. She has a open mouth. Look at that. She has tongue and gums. And um, so, yeah. So since she was like able to wear that I was like okay well let me see if I can put her on you know one of these that's you know it's preemie but it's not micro preemie and I'm like okay we're gonna see if we can we can fit that so um I'm gonna be doing that while I talk to you guys um so basically of course you know a lot of people are now you know looking at all their options oh and just FYI she has this little red mark here it's like a birthmark um, so it's, it's a, a little red, you could see it, and in person it, it looks almost kind of like a little pinch bruise or something, but it's a red, it's a birthmark, sorry, boo -boo. um, but anyway, so yeah, so second, second market, um, a lot of people are, are looking to second market because of the, the, uh, the significant rise in prices now. And also the availability um, with the reborns because they're mass produced the vinyl reborns are mass produced by warehouses and you know all that stuff you can you can get them much easier they are much easier to get than um, than the uh, silicone babies you know, uh, silicone babies are individually poured and handmade, and it's really, 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 um, truly an, a, a very expensive production, et cetera, et cetera. So it's very hard to get, to get, I mean, it's harder to get them, um, especially the nicer quality dolls because they go really fast and so on. So, um, People look to second market now second market what that means is that you are not buying directly from the the artist you are buying from another collector who has maybe bought from another collector or another artist um i for one don't buy a lot 
on second market. I am not opposed to it. I think it's a great idea when it really works for you. Um, you know, there are times where, you know, the only time you can get something is second market. And of course, in that, in those instances, then guess what? I think you just have to do what you got to do. But, you know, with a lot of pictures and actually it helps when it's a reputable seller, you know, a collector that you are familiar with, you've seen them sell, you know, many dolls before, or, or not many dolls, but sell dolls, you know, and that they take care of their dolls. Um, now I've now hearing the new thing is people don't care if it has a flaw or something if the price is adjusted accordingly in fact hell some people almost hope it has a flaw so that they can get it for cheap <laughs> it's like some people actually go saying do you have any boo boo babies you know what i mean um and there's nothing wrong with that if, if you're okay with that um my thing is is because i'm used to the babies coming directly from the artist and having that warranty from the artist that guarantee that if you know it come to me and, and it's flawed or it's a defect or something you know the artist will help me and even if it it doesn't and i get with them dang i should have had your um other i should have had her other uh hat but that's okay anyway um but yeah so that you know so with second market there's no warranty a lot of times in a lot of cases you know there are those rare occasions where the artist might take it back and, and do something but for the most part the artists do not honor you know uh any type of warranty or fix or help you with anything if you did not buy directly from them so you all you have to keep that in mind when you're buying second market um but I'm okay with, um, I'm okay with, oh, she looks so cute. Oh, she looks so cute in this. She actually can fit this. I think she fits it well, guys. What you think? I think that's good. This is regular preemie. I think, I don't think it's, look, I don't think it's that, that big on her, to be honest. Okay, mama. Okay, Penelope, sweet little Penny. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, I so I was, you know, so for me, okay, this is this is where I'm at with second market. I will buy second market if I find a good deal. On rare occasions, if it's you know a doll that is slightly higher than what the asking price was, but it's very sold out very limited and i can't get it anywhere and i absolutely just got to have that particular one and i want that baby then i don't have a problem with paying over the price i have done it before um but on an average basis when i go second market i'm looking for a deal <laughs> you hear me i'm looking for a deal if i can't find a deal i don't really want it i will just wait um and if the if if it's just one that I like and let's say it's the same price as um what they sell as brand new and the doll is a year or two years old or you know um I'll just wait on the next one I I am not you know normally I'll just wait on the next one um, but I think what is happening now too is that um, you have these group of women out here that buy up these dolls and then they are basically creating like where I don't know how to explain it it's like if you want dolls, you, you go through them. They're like the like the dolly brokers. <laughs> um, and so, oh, look at that. Those are preemie pants. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. These are regular preemie pants. Look. 
Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna put her on the shirt that goes to this. Oh, shuck it, duck it, duck, quack, quack. So yeah, but anyway, um, but I just rather buy if I if I can afford the money and I can I can do it. I rather buy directly from the artist if I can. I am not opposed to second market. I believe second market is a beautiful thing when it works. Um, but like I said, um, if I'm gonna pay the same price as what I would have paid for it brand new from the artist, I'm gonna wait on the artist. Especially if I know that they're making more, I will. At that point, I would just buy directly from the artist because. Um, I've seen where dolls, a lot of dolls, they come out, they're brand new and they go to the mommy and they have, you know, issues already and, or you don't get that crisp box opening experience that you get directly from the artist, but you're paying the same price that you paid from the artist. I don't know. It's just weird. Um, plus, I don't know, but yeah. But that's 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 that you know the the um some of the older collectors the way that they keep their babies versus the newer collectors no offense is a lot different um the some of the older I'm talking about these old elite collectors um they like keep their dolls in these amazing princess cribs and cases and you know, they dress them and they take take a picture or two or whatever, or they just dress them for their personal thing because they're more private collectors and, you know, and that's about it. They're not, you know, feeding them cereal and, you know, Hershey chocolate milk and all that great jazz. Um, so it's, you know, the dolls are very well kept and they're in pristine condition. So... Of course, they're not going to want to, some of them are not going to drop their prices too much. But there are a few very, very wealthy collectors that will do it. She literally can fit this. This is preemie. This is something that uh, I think Auntie Denise sent for Gabby. But this is actually regular preemie. And she's actually fitting it. Wow. I don't know. I guess maybe it's been washed. I don't know. It, it looks very crisp, but it could could have been washed. And maybe the shrinkage? I don't know. But she... Look at that. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, um... Yeah. Um... Second market for Reborns? Um... They don't hold their value at all. That good, really. Um, but... You know, I will get a second... I will buy Reborn Second Market too. Um, but those are even better to get. I think I think Reborns are better to get Second Market because the value drops. So, I mean, like, the price drops so, so, so far down um, Second Market on Reborns. I definitely wouldn't mind, like, especially if it's a nice collector that I know take care of their babies and stuff. Oh yeah, I will buy from them in a flash just because I know I'm gonna get a good deal on that because you really can't sell uh, Reborns for the same price almost. It has to be a very well sought after sculpt and artist at the same time in order to do to do that. Um, so yeah. Um, Wow, I'm still impressed that she actually, look at this. She actually is fitting this preemie. So, I have a little hand. <laughs> you guys can't see that. Wait, I don't know how to make you guys. Let's see. I don't know, you guys can see her little hand. It's over here. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh my gosh. Did I tell y'all that I love her? I love me some Penelope. Look at that. She is just a peanut. Look at that. I love I love looking at her little belly button. Isn't it cute? And it's it's not even really defined. The sculpting is not really much to the belly button, but I guess because of, I just like that I made it brown. Like a little button. Um 
and her little back. And she, I don't know if you guys see, and she's, she's the cutest little thing. Her veining came out pretty good, if I say so myself. But yeah, she's, she's a, she's a sweet baby. Sweet, sweet a pita pita. But um, anyway, but yeah, so second market is not a bad thing. You just have to, you know, get good pictures. You just have to, you know, look at the person selling history, so to speak, in general. Um, I've done my research. I know, um, like I said, I know it's a ring of people that actually uh, circulate the same dolls together. They work together to sell, you know, second market. Um, I don't have no clue what that's about, but... Um, it, it works and then you know they got this group where it's pretty much to promote second market and selling your doll second market um don't ask me what group it is because i do not um i'm not um uh, promoting that group but um it's pretty interesting but i i can't say that that there's there's it's a bad thing I really can't. I can't. I really think second market is a good thing. And I think, you know, but I think like a lot of the older collectors, especially the ones that collect the Claire Taylor dolls, are kind of holding on to their older dolls um, because they don't know if they're going to get the newer dolls and also the condition of them, you know, buying second market. Um, doll Fan used to be a place that you could go. And for sure guaranteed to get a quality doll, but now everybody is on Dolphin. And um, at one point there was this, uh, I'm not gonna say the name again, there was this particular person that was selling like a lot of dolls and some of, a lot of them were damaged or um, sometimes people didn't get their dolls or you know, different things like that. And next thing you know, I saw they were on Dolphin selling. So. Um, doll fan ain't what it used to be and it's not that much selling it's not even that much activity on doll fan is what you know what it used to be but um, there are still some of the very old school collectors and artists that uh, participate on doll fan so I'm not saying that it's bad um, you definitely still have some of the the uh, the elite collectors out there on doll fan lashes is kind of long I want to pull it off but I can't I can't okay I'll have to clip it I get every now and then there's like there's a lash or something that there it is I got it I was when I cut it I didn't cut it as short as the other ones so there we go but yeah this is my little that is the little little preemie weemie. I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm going to end this. I'm sorry. I know I probably was all over the place. It's hard for me to focus when I'm doing multiple things. But you guys got the, the understanding of what I'm saying. It's not bad. But it's not always exactly like you're getting stuff for cheaper. Like, you know, some people are like, oh, second market, you get stuff cheaper. Not always. Sometimes you pay more than the regular price. Sometimes it's not a good deal sometimes it is a very good deal so you it's just like anything else you have to research it you have to know who you're buying from make sure you're gonna get yourself second market so yeah anyway love and hugs and i will talk to you guys later